What's up guys, today we are going to talk about 1999 Lincoln Sands struck in Philadelphia and Denver. Here I'm holding two specimens, brown and red brown. Red brown is at mean state, despite these large patinas. Surfaces are free from mentionable contact marks. These horizontal lines going through the fields and reliefs are dye polish lines. Surfaces show strong trace of copper red luster on selected areas. Device elements are sharply detailed on both sides. The US Mint produced two major varieties of 1999 Lincoln Memorial Sands. The most common variety for the Philadelphia Minted 1999 is a close AM variety. In the word America on the reverse, the close AM means that the letters A and M were very close and almost touching, while the wide AM had two letters separated much more. In addition, the initials FG was closer to the Lincoln Memorial Building on the wide AM, and it was further away on the close AM variety. I examined both pennies, they feature close distance between letters A and M, so close AM by all means. 1999 YDAM is by far scarcer than the other variant. This coin commands over $100 even in the lowest condition. Furthermore, thousands of the examples of this variety are probably still in circulation. The 1999 YDAM sense can be found in mean state grades and higher, with some searching. However, examples in mean state grades will cost several hundred dollars. In grades of MS66 and higher, they usually come on about thousand dollars. Coins graded in MS67 will bring you about two thousand dollars, with MS68 graded example bringing in about four thousand dollars and higher. This is 1999 YDM Lincoln Cent at mid state 68. The reverse die with the AM widely spaced was intended for proof coinage, but somehow number of Philadelphia mid coins were struck for circulation using these dies. They are very rare in such high grade, exceptional, brilliant red luster blazes on both sides of this sharply struck gem. But there is one extremely rare penny struck in 1999 that makes huge money at auctions. This is 1999 Lincoln Center of Wars milled with Roosevelt Dime Reavers. This incredible error somehow escaped the scrutiny of Mint employees. No one explained how a Lincoln Center of Worst type was paired with a Roosevelt Dime Reverse. But this coin proves that it happened. The worst sharply struck on the figure of Lincoln and the date, although the opposing dime die being slightly smaller than the sand planchet caused minor peripheral weakness on a verse. In other words, Nothing was behind the periphery of the scent die to force expanding metal into recesses. Naturally, the slightly smaller reverse dime die caused that side to be boldly struck, sold for $138,000 at heritage auctions.